Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'll be introducing a material design visual editor. This is a non-technical video. The base of this project will allow you to create and deploy websites without coding. The platform emphasizes on drag and drop features. This is the medium article describing some technical details. The link will be in the description. If you love this project and would like to see the project grow, like, subscribe, and share this video. Join us or donate to us at the following wallet addresses. Without further ado, let's start. So Material UI is actually a design framework, uh, very popular, uh, that's very popular in the market and uh, it's used by Google as well. So we have four components, four basic components of Material UI design, which is the grid, which composes of the grid container and grid item, the button and the typography, the text. Okay, so uh, one thing to understand is that uh, the container houses each item. Okay, so by default, the grid container is 12 units and each item is by default uh, three units. So therefore, each container can have max. Uh, in this case, each container can have uh, about four items and if you put the, put the fifth one oh sorry if you put the fifth one then it will actually drop down and uh, to the next row okay you can also actually adjust the size of each item via uh, the screen size over here uh, set this uh, based on the screen size how will you want to display this item for various different screens okay and you can also set the background color okay, of uh, the container and the grid. So maybe I will set the grid container. Uh, you can set it to different colors. You can add the text typography over here. And you can say that this variant is actually a heading. Maybe you put heading two and we can change the text to uh, maybe one piece and for the container and grid item, for both of them, you can actually set the height. So for example, you could say like uh, in pixels, 500 pixels, okay? And then I can actually drag out this one piece to put it down here. If I do not want all this uh, to put it in the center or I can put it over here, okay? And I can, we can also, what we can do is to actually drag one more container within this container and we can, uh, yeah, put it over here. Okay. And we can change the background images. Uh, so for example, if we want this background image over here, and can set no repetition, no repetition, uh, set to center, or you can set it to the top, and then you can put cover. When you are done, you can also add buttons over here. Yeah, let's try. Button sizes, um, large buttons. You can change the text of the buttons. Uh, click to start. Okay, you can set the margins on the left. Maybe you want to put 10%. Okay, for a text, you can also set, at, set them as 10%. Uh, do remember to change the relative position for the text if you want to shift them. And when you are done editing, you can actually preview. And yeah, you can have a simple website. So this is the base and the features that are currently available. And I will, we hope to see that this project grow. Thank you very much.